Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the previous episode, we finished off Waterland and beat Kapamari. Now, we're going to be going to one of my least favorite stages in this entire game. It's not the worst, in my opinion. It's one of Boom Boatyard. God, I hate this. But at least the... At least it has a fun a level. But this is an auto-scroller with a bunch of mariners. Mariners? Mariners? I think it's just marines. But the whole point of Boom Boy Yard is that it's an auto scroller. It's a timed auto scroller. Meaning. That, uh. The whole point of this board is that. Oops. Get him out. Well, I'm not going up. Hope one of this stage is that it's a time, it's a time, the uh, auto scroller. As you can see, parts of the stage will literally start disappearing if we're not fast enough. Meaning we might miss a bunch of shit, i.e. treasures, i.e. son of a bitch. Okay, no, I'm wrong. First one, treasure chest. This is actually a piggy bank. Don't let your pirate friend see it. I want to see a pirate, a pirate themed uh, piggy bank. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. This is a timed auto scroller, meaning that later in the stage, parts of the stage will disappear due to rockets. Which is all the fun time in the world of what you need because everyone loves auto scrollers. Why not make it better? Said no one ever. Right. Take care of the marine. Basically, the marines are like a different colored version of the uh, soldiers from uh, what do you call it? From uh, uh, from Sweet Park. So like they're all the same: sword marine, spear marine, uh, cannon marine, marine officer. Piece of shit. Go up. Take off this to get the CD. It's literally like a very inconspe inconspicuous. Oh, fuck, like oh, get away from the bomber. I was inconspicuous, but that spot in particular is where most people would lose the, uh, would not know where the CD is, which is kind of sad. Anyway. Good jump from me. Holy crap. I'm toxic, I'm toxic, I'm toxic, I'm toxic. Go up. This is like a really hard stage to get like a gold rank in because since you're uh, dealing with a time limit, you need to collect every bead you see. And not all of them are available. Five star patch though. Yeah. Alright. So uh as you can as you can see from the background though, there's a bunch of uh shit being uh destroyed. Which is kind of funny. We are literally just playing Battleship. Pretty shittily, though. Anyway, let's just keep going with the stage. Oh, God, now they're shooting the big barrels. Going down with the ship. Ripperoni, that dude. Anyway, take away the cannon guy again. Climb up, take care of this cannon guy again. This cannon guy again. Jesus Christ. All right, there we go. Pirate ship. There we go. Grab that. Grab this captain. Oh my God. I'm near the, okay, I'm near the end. But this is not making fun. Fuck. Second hit. This is like a mini boss of this stage. The giant cannon marine. There you go. Ha. <sighs> I know I hate this stage, but seriously, this is the first stage we don't get a gold rank in. God, that sucks, man. Do, do we get, do we at best get a silver? Ha. <sighs> 
<sighs> I really do not like this stage, man. But seriously? <sighs> Alright, I'm not redoing any stages for ranks. Ranks are just meaningless. They do, they are for 100% completion, but like, th that's its own thing. I already have all the gold ranks in, in my personal file, so I do not mind, but God, that, that kind of pisses me off. Eh, four worlds or three worlds of pure gold rank though, that's not bad. Anyway, fix the yellow submarine with the ranch patch. There it goes. Fossil Reef. So let's just keep going. Fuck boom, boom, boy, uh, boy. All right. We are not in the Metamorph Text level. For now, we are at the dolphin part of this one. As you can see. We are going to be going through the entire stage as Dolphin, and these water bubbles are our only way to progress within the stage, because they are water. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's keep going up, and let's just see what we can do. The arrows do tell you what to do. Sometimes they give you good direction, sometimes they don't. Two stars patch on that one. All right, there we go. Now I'll take this arrow's advice and go down. To the rest of the stage. I don't know what these level the, uh, things are. They look like puffer fish. Oops. Get the right one. There we go. There we go. Another ring. Keep going up. We are nearing the end of Waterland, and meaning we are near almost near the end of the game. I think like by the fourth boss, which was Kapamari, we are nearly like halfway there. The anemone sofa. This anemone chair looks comfy, but it feels a bit strange. Go ahead and try it. No. All right. Arrows are telling us where to go, but there's a bunch of shit we can find. Like bubbles with beads. Anytime you can see an Alco, go for it because they will give us a bunch of more beads for our gold ring. Now the bubbles start moving across the uh, the screen, which is very, very fun. Very, very great. Grab this. Eight. Grab the triangle. So keep going. Oh, like this stage is not that bad compared to Boom Bolt Yard. Oh my God. You can't, it needs to be hard somehow, but really? All right. I'm so salty. Ah! Back up, go back. I said go back up. Anyway, down there. Hold down. Is there anything down here? Yep, and I'm in. Bump into those and you bump back, but keep going up. Let's keep going on with the level. Nice commentary so far. Go up, go down, keep going through the level. This is grade A commentary brought to you by yours truly. Anyway, um, what else am I going to say? This is just like a pretty relaxing level, in my opinion, compared to Boom Boat Yard. So, uh, in general, I would be a lot more calmer in this stage. Doesn't make it like less bullshit, though. Anyway, fossil. This is a stunning fossil was discovered in an ancient sea. Beautiful. You could also shake the weird mode as Dolphin Kirby to flip. I think it's like either that or the two button. Or one, I don't know. Well, I do not know. You can flip in the air to stay in the air a little longer. Ah, falling. That was not good. <laughs> don't do that. Don't like go to the edge of the bubble and fall because that's a bad idea. The whole point of the Gordo there is that they just stop you. And uh, it's, it's fun. Now we have water bubbles coming out of the actual uh, water itself. So we can like have a water rising. 
Now we found the CD here, so we have all three collectibles again. Let's just keep going. Oh god, I'm good at aiming. Let's go. Again. Go up again. Nice. Let's go. Oop. Oops again. There we go. Get the three star. Here, get the gold rank we wanted. Get the five star patch. Go down. Get into another multicolored ring. Oops. I am literally having the best commentary, and it's not even like the final part. But I said, like, this whole stage is not that, not that bad to commentate. It's just literally just dolphin riding above sea bubbles. So I could just like think of another topic to talk about while we're doing this. Oh god, don't fall. See that and falls. What? I know like I know I've been having a fun time just recording these things because it's just Kirby's epic yarn. So we are at the end of the stage you now. If I can get this goddamn ring! Get the ring! You Ah, this is really turning into Superman 64. Fuck! There we go, got the ring. Now we can progress to Lex Luthor's uh, tower. Anyway. With this stage out of the way, that is actually very short. With the recording time, and that is... A lot shorter than I expected, so uh I thought we could finish off Waterland here. But my timer's saying no. So we got all the charges in Waterland. Waterland is now beaten, or completed more technically. So let's just start off Snowland. No, don't go back into there. So let's go. Start off Snowland. More chill area with a bunch of ice. I like it. Hopefully you can actually see one of the stages where I got one of my uh, items for. Anyway, Snowy Fields. First stage of Snowland. Whole point of this level is that now uh, Waddle, this Waddle D here is gonna start sh uh, shooting snowballs at us. We get caught in the cotton of the snowball, and we are gonna basically just slide down. Just mash as fast as you can to uh, not get hit. And now we also get our first introduction to Chili's, the staple ice enemy from Kirby. They do what they always done. Just be a nuisance of ice. And now we get pretty good igloos here. This music is actually really fucking cool to listen to. I don't know what to let you. Eh, I'm gonna let you guys listen for a bit. Alright, that's enough. This stage is pretty good music. Also, ice physics. Does everyone does everyone love ice physics? Cause I got I do not like ice physics. I'm gonna need them. There you go. Perfect shots. Go down. Also, like as you can see, uh, in some ice levels, you can see like Kirby turning into like like ice skates. When he turns around, which is kind of cool. Pirouettes. You can actually uh, like ride on top of the snowball as well. It's like once the water these shoots the ice wall or the snowball, you can actually uh, jump or jump onto it. I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, you can. Just be careful to like not get into that snowball and make yourself lose the progression you wanted. 
Get him. Get all the beats up here. And just keep going. You can see. Now they're going to be a little dickish with the placement of the snowballs because if you fall, if you get caught into one of these, you need to match as fast as you can to not uh, fall down the edge. And get uh, screwed by Angie. Oh, God. You. <laughs> Okay, these snowballs, I wouldn't say are ne necessary, but like you need them to be there for platforming. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say um, kill all of them. Big bear bed. This cuddly bed keeps you your head cool and your body warm. Hooray. Grab him. In there. Grab the star. Go up. Avoid this one. Alright, if you get stuck and you know you're going to be above a uh, pit, just uh, just don't mash until you need to. Because if you mash and you like spawn above a uh, a pit and you don't react fast enough, you're going to fall and lose a bunch of stars due to Angie. Just swing around. I thought I got hit for a second. Go into another igloo and get more bees. Let's walk behind the snowball. These snowballs don't get bigger. It's kind of funny. Jump on this one. And then we can get this crystal star here. Get the three star we need. There we go. Keep going. I think now we get to see big snowballs in this area. Yep, those are big. Nah, you thought the small ones are hard to deal with. Try dealing with a big one. They're fun though. Just stay on top of them. Don't let them like roll over you. And then you can get stuff like this two star patch up here. Damn, I'm missing a bunch of stuff. All right, there's a treasure. I actually did not expect myself to land on that. I almost, I always, I was, I was, I most likely just go up. I did not expect for me to land that first try. Anyway, penguin mirror. See yourself in this mirror and that's shaped like an igloo. That's shaped like a penguin. Hooray. Oh God. Go into this. You can actually, um, there's another igloo under there that you can use to, uh, to avoid these things. But if you can like get onto it the first try, you don't need the igloo. Stay up. Grab this. Five star patch. You. Ha. Huh. All right. Now we're at the one of my least favorite parts about this stage that the water they start uh, chucking snowballs down. And as you can see, you need like godlike reaction and godlike mashing skills to not get affected by this. Which is, oh god, kind of funny. Yo, you, because you're the bigger problem. Grab those. I'm missing a CD. Which should be around here, actually. Water they, yeah. Oh god, this one of these is gonna be a biggity biggity bitch. Let's just grab this and just go up. Two, three, three. And you can see, there's a chimney here. Anyway. Now, back to the same system. Uh, just went into a snowball under you to hop off and then just ride the snowball. Alright, don't get caught up, and then you can get the CD for the stage. Hopefully I can get a uh, gold rank as well. So let's see. And I'm getting three stars. All right. Just enough for the three star patch. Let's go. But with that, getting the first patch of Snowland. Let's just chuck this and we're going to end and we're going to end the episode. God, I do not. I do not. 
<sighs> I'm still salty over that fucking boom boat yard. Anyway. Let's just chuck the mitten and see what we can get. The coziest of cannons. The coziest of cabins are now been unlocked. In the next episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn, we're going to be continuing within Snowland and hopefully getting warm. Let's give Kirby the rest he needs after literally surviving uh, an, a naval attack. Thank you all for joining me today and hope you all have a wonderful day.